to Cardio Fusion. Today we're going to do three segments of cardio, three segments of weight, floor strength work, and some cool down. So make sure you have your sneakers on and a, hat, a mat nearby. Get some weights for the weight section and we're ready to go. Battery 90%. Connected to iPhone.
overhead.
Thank you. 
stretch in that tricep area. Good job. Get your weights. Get a drink of water if you need it. And we're going to proceed to our strength work. Angle the camera. And we're going to inchworm down to the mat where we roll our spine down, bend our knees, and walk out. And that puts us into the quadruped position. So from here, we're going to practice keeping our trunk stable, working the glutes, abs, and hams. So we're going to take the leg out and bring it in. Out and bring it in. And when you do that, you don't move your pelvis, you just use your leg. Out, lengthen it out, and bring it back in. So everything else is quiet through the body. Keep the shoulders down, the back of the neck long. Now we're going to add the opposite arm. So this is balance work. Make sure you use your core to help center you. One and down. This is called bird dog. Don't reach with your shoulder. Keep your shoulders in its congruent position. Up. 
up, 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 and change. Now you're going to go to the other leg. One, two. Try to weight into the hands equally. Keep both sides of the waist long. Four, five. Keep the knee and toe aligned. Seven, eight. Opposite arm adds in. One, two, three, four. Only use the muscles you need, abs, glutes, and hands. Seven, eight. Good job. Now we're going to alternate it. Really concentrate on your center to keep your balance. One, lower down. Two, lower down. Three, four, five, six, eyes directly to the floor, next long, eight. Good job, good balance work, good core work, good hamstring and glute work. Okay, we're gonna come to a seated position and we're gonna roll down and do some hip work in the other direction with the bridge. So, let's start with a hold. So our toes, heels, knees, and hips are in all one line. And we're gonna go straight up into the air and hold it and squeeze. We're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. Make sure you magnetize the inner thighs. Make sure they're magnetized, the knees are magnetized. You're, you don't want your knees wandering out. You want to squeeze the glutes, activate the hamstrings, and we pull deep into the abs. We're doing some hip strengthening work here. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Tap it down, lift it up, tap it down, lift it up. Try to go as high as you can without boinking your ribs. Wrap your ribs, sink your belly, lift your pelvic floor up. Try to keep the pelvis actually neutral. Don't do a tuck here. You keep a flat back and down. Working that whole back body. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Keep squeezing those glutes. One hold, hold it. Another hold. Squeeze. Find the alignment of the body. The only thing touching the floor is the back of the head, the shoulder blades, and the back of the arms, all the way to the fingertips. And breathe. Strengthening those hips, keeping them high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower down. Good job. Okay, from here, we're going to do some ab work. So let's start with our feet on the floor, lace our hands behind our head, and we're going to come up and lower. When you come up, wrap the ribs and sink the belly. Try to roll up to the tips of the shoulder blades. Take it slow so you can control the movement. It's the abs and the thoracic spine that are doing the work here. For eight, seven, six, five, four, it's not how fast you go or how many you do. It's how correctly you do them. Seven and eight. Let's go to tabletop here. Eight, seven, six. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Remember, try to get to the tips of your shoulder blades. When you come up, your eyes are looking at your knees. Four, three, two, and one. Now, if you can, straighten the legs. If not, keep it bent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
release the hands. If you can, drop the legs. Now really scoop the belly. We're going to hold this for eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Eyes over the knees and feet. Bring it in. Crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more. Hold here. Up to the tips of the shoulder blades. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five. Shoulders down. Four. Abs in. Three, two, crisscross. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Let's put those arms in golf post. We're going to release those abs. Take a breath. And let's put our arms up. Keeping our shoulders down, feeling the stretch through the rectus abdominis. Point the toes, reach with the fingertips, arch the back here, just release. Now find the powerhouse again, force at the ribs, sink the belly, lift the pelvic floor, take the arms into goalpost arms, and just let the wrists and the elbows rest on the floor and hold. Lift it up, press it down. Nice stretch after class. Up, press it down. Up, down. One more. Up, down. Bring one leg in, bring one leg in, and roll up. And let's do a little bit of stretching on our legs. So let's start with one knee bent. Sit right in the center of the floor on your pelvis. You don't want to be going to one side. You want to stay straight. Shoulders down. You want to flex that foot on the long leg and go into a beautiful side stretch and breathe into those lungs. Never force the stretch. You're going to drop your shoulders, widen your chest, and reach to your toe and hold. Don't have to force it. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Every day is a journey to your destination. So always think about where you are and where you will be when you keep the commitment of your exercise. Back out, and let's change legs. Remember to sit right in the center. Widen that leg according to your amount of flexibility. We're going to go over, really right over that shoulder. You're not going to twist or turn. You're going to keep it right here. This is a perfect clean side bend. Now we're going to turn from the waist up and reach long and hold. And hold. Keep your shoulders down. You're going to feel a nice stretch through the side of the body. Breathe for four, three, two, one, back up. And then come into the center. Flex your feet. This is for your calves. Point your toes. Flex. That's flex really stretches the back of the calves. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Find a comfortable place to sit. Roll your shoulders. Try to sit right on top of your sitting bones with your heart high. Bring your hands behind. Clasp your hands. And lift. And open those collarbones. Hinge a little forward. Try to keep a flat back, long neck, and hold. Lift the arms as high as you comfortably can for a beautiful stretch through your pecs and your biceps. And hold. Good job. Roll your shoulders. Look right. Look left. Look right. And left. 
and right, and left, and up, check your jaw. Feel that stretch to the front of the neck, and back down, one more time, back down, lift your shoulders. Inhale, and an exhale. One more time. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good class. First class of the new year. Hope you feel great this week. See you on Fridays now at 11 o'clock. They change the times. Fridays at 11 for Cardio Fusion. 12 o'clock for Pilates on Fridays. See you then. Have a great week.